Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Blue Protocol video. Well, well, well. Today, it's all about monetization and the cash shop. That's right, many people want to know, is this going to be a gotcha system? Well, today, we're going to break it all down and talk about the cash shop and the other shops that will be inside of Blue Protocol. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's just jump right into it because the game looks good, but is this going to have a gotcha system? Everybody wants to know. Today, we're going to talk about it. Now, the monetization system in Blue Protocol, well, it's going to be a little bit different. Now, we all know this will be a free-to-play game, but they will have some monetization options. First off, they will have a season pass. So, you know, it will be a paid version, and of course, there will be a free tier like we see in Fortnite and Destiny 2 and many other games. They will have a cash out where you can purchase in-game items, some call it gotcha, which makes you really think is a gotcha system, but it's not. A Rose Orb store, a Blue Protocol point store, and lastly, the Season store. Now, all of these are different, except the Blue Protocol point store and the Season store. They are powered by something known as a Rose Orb. Rose Orb are the premium currency, which is used to purchase items and services. So, premium currency, check. Of course, you're gonna to have to spend money for that to purchase in-game items, right? We're talking about costumes, mounts, accessories, stamps, and even XP buffs, transfer tickets so you can change your equipment slots, reward plus tickets, Luno up buffs. Of course, we're gonna have the season pass and more now. There is also a name chain feature, which you can also purchase, but it will have a cooldown timer on it, which means it just won't be a one-time thing. You can change your name again. It's just gonna take time for you to do it, right? That is still pretty cool though. Now, costumes in Blue Protocol do not offer any stats. Mounts will not offer any speed upgrades either. So these would just be a way for you to look good right and for you to travel across the landscape nothing beneficial right there now you will also be able to earn in-game rewards without using any paid features so you'll have the cash shop you know you have some things that you can buy from there but you're also going to have a whole tier of rewards that you can earn in game now as a free to play player you'll be able to get things such as costumes those gotcha tickets for the gotcha shop right accessories you'll be able to get mounts stamps beauty salon tickets all without using the cash shop these are all going to be free and obtainable for you clearing missions and certain quests now additionally you'll be able to earn currency like those gotcha coins which allows you to exchange them for accessory costumes and mounts you'll be able to earn these gotcha coins through participating in raids, which will increase more of that currency. So it's a good gameplay loop. Kind of reminds me of Terra. And in Terra, we had a nice cash shop. We also had, we can trade between players. They didn't even talk about that. Hopefully they'll add that feature. That'll be pretty cool. And then you have a whole bunch of stuff that you can get free in game, which was plenty for you to acquire. So when it comes to the monetization system in Blue Protocol, Looks pretty good, my dude. No gotcha system as I can tell so far. Of course, we're going to have to wait to get our hands on it. But until then, I'll keep you updated right here at Carpo Gaming. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gaming. A little wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.